I'm Mike, this is a bunch of Guns and Gear Reviews, and I just got this package today from Highland Tactical. Let's check it out. As some of you may know, I recently became one of the writers for GearReport.com, and as part of that, they'll sometimes send me items to review. So, uh, you know, I'll take it, I'll test it, I'll do a uh, review article and a review video for it, both for them and for my site, and, uh, you know, let's go ahead and check out and see what Highland Tactical sent me today. This is their Apollo backpack. This is the Highland Tactical Apollo Backpack. Let's take a look at it here. My first impressions are that it's pretty well made with some uh, nice heavy material. Stitching looks to be pretty good. All of it's straight. Doesn't seem to be any mitched, mitched yeah, missed stitches. The zippers are more of a commercial grade zipper, a heavy duty commercial grade zipper, but still they're not the military zipper. One thing I like to see is that the edges where they've sewn the fabric together are bound. That's going to be a lot less likely to come undone. Again, the stitching inside seems to be well executed. Inside the main compartment, it has a little pouch here in the back. Yeah, that would be where you would hang your high, put your hydration bladder or whatnot, because here is a port for your hose. Some fairly decently padded straps. They look to be wide enough to disperse the weight you're gonna put in it pretty well. Nice secondary pouch with some organization stuff. That's good. And then an outer tertiary pouch. Has a bottom pouch here where you can, again, organize some stuff. Stuff that you might want to get to quickly and not have to dig through the main part of your pack. Uh, this little pouch here is detachable, held on via the molly webbing. That's kind of cool. Then it has this little pouch here. Uh, sternum strap, good. Waist belt, good. Not padded or anything. Uh, not real wide. I don't think that that's really going to hold a lot of weight. Shoot, really, it might need some serious adjustment to fit around my fat ass, too. We'll have to see on that one. Yeah, I think those straps might be comfortable. Yeah, the waist belt. <laughs> it needs some adjustment to fit my uh, rather stout frame. So if, uh, if you're a big guy, you might not get to use the waist belt. I mean the uh, waist belt. We'll see if I can make it work. I'm not going to go into getting all the adjustments on it done and whatnot. Get it all let out. Um, if not, I'll just cinch it down and won't use it, right? This looks like, oh, this is their uh, Ranger range bag. Cool. Nice little duffel. Again, this, the material seems to be good, high quality stuff. The uh, stitching, well executed. Everything's well within lines, nothing skipped. The edges seem bound on everything. That's good. The zippers look stout. Got plenty of hook and loop for your morale patches and whatnot. Some outer compartments. One on each side. 
they got, we have these where I guess you could put some spare magazines or whatnot. They're not really big enough for, say, an AR mag. Um, I guess this compartment would be if you stuck them in there sideways. Let's check out the main compartment, see how, how that is. Yep, one big spacious main compartment here. Oh, and they have a uh, shoulder strap included too. So, there we go. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to go ahead and put both of these through their paces and uh, give them a pretty thorough evaluation. So, I'm Mike. This is a bunch of Guns and Gear reviews, and this is my unboxing of a package from Highland Tactical. Thanks for watching.